What's up? Viz Gamer checking in with a round of rush on Port Valdez. I am the attacker. Check this out. That was some Jackie Chan shit right there. You saw that? <laughs> but uh, I do pretty pretty poorly on the beginning part of this. Well, the beginning part of this video anyway. I had to cut out some of it because YouTube only allows a max of 15 minutes on my account. So. That's all we're getting, just 15 minute videos, unless I chop them up, but I just decided to go with uh, cutting out some of the beginning and a little chunk of the middle because, you know, it was boring anyway, so get more of the action pack stuff in here. But uh, Port Valdez, a lot of choke points. Now, this is a pretty choke point heavy board. There's a couple of them where right after the first set of, well, the first set of them comes running down that hill is a good choke. I, I think every part of this board is like a choke point, pretty much. Uh, but I, I like it. It's fun. You know, makes you think, makes you use your brain. A good way to overcome said choke points is my good old friend, the smoke nade, like I'm using right here. The smoke launcher, I should say. Now, it gives you the ability to put up a nice wall wherever you're going, so it makes choke points not big, not that big of a deal. I see this tank coming up and he's trying to base rape so I just block him off there. He ain't seeing anything with that smoke screen in front of him. So he decides to back it up. So right there I just pretty much single handedly defeated that tank with two smoke grenades. So do not underestimate the power of the smoke grenade my friend. They are mighty beasts indeed. <laughs> but um, yeah what I like to do here is move down this beach. I usually smoke it up so you have a little more cover and try to run down it. Now sometimes people will bring the tank right down there, which is kind of stupid, but I've seen people do it and it, and it shreds you pretty good though. But it makes it so open to get attacked that it's pretty much a stupid idea if you ask me, but I, I do see people do that. Right here I kind of fail a little bit. I couldn't see this guy so I missed that knife swipe and pretty much cost me my life but I did take him with me so not that bad not that bad but uh, yeah like I, I usually like to run up that uh, beach but you know you don't want to keep doing the same thing over and over and I see my teams trying to move down the right side here so I decided screw it and let's go for it now a good thing to do when you're throwing down smoke is not to just put it where you're going because that lets everyone know where you're going. If they just see a bunch of smoke in one area, you know, a lot of people just start unloading into the smoke. You gotta create, like, diversions with the smoke, like, so they don't know where the hell you are, you know? Just spit two over there, one over here, one in the middle, and then, you know, use, the, you know, the route you're gonna take. And that way they don't know that, you know, oh, there's a giant cloud of smoke only in that one spot. I wonder if they're gonna run through there, you know? So, uh, definitely a good idea to make some uh, smoke diversions and use it for cover and whatnot. I, you know, it's pretty much only useful for attackers. I mean, there's been a few occasions where I've used smoke on the uh, defense and it was just useful. But for the most part, you don't want to use it on defense. You're actually, you know, pretty much going to help the other team move up if you start throwing smoke down. Unless you know what, exactly what you're doing and have a plan to you know, push him back, but right here, now, I totally forgot about this since I haven't done it in so long, you can actually make it all the way around these, uh, this bulkhead right here, whatever you want to call it, if you go up each ladder one at a time, now right there, I totally forgot about it because I hadn't done this for so long, and I think you like drowned or something if you swim for too long, but if you go up at each one of these ladders, you can actually make it all the way around the side. So that's something to keep in mind. Because, you know, if you come up that one area, people are expecting it. Sometimes people expect these two, but if you're coming wrap around the side of the thing, usually no one's waiting for you there. I mean, once in a while you get shot by a sniper or something, but for the most part, it's pretty safe. But, you know, I only do that as a first resort. Once you start getting into it and your tick tickets start bleeding down, you know, it takes too damn long. So, I only try it, like, when my, our tickets are high. 
in this part pissed me off. <laughs> this guy's like moving everywhere. I'm not shooting. And then, you know, sniper pops out of nowhere. But he's got a shotgun, so I'm not going to bitch about the sniper stuff. And look at him. Look at that beast. Beast and shit. That's how snipers should play, if you ask me. He's running in there just tearing dudes apart. This guy's a nice small point. You know, people frown on camping. And I pretty much consider, you know, that a form of camping, but that's the type of camping I like, man. If you're trying to post up for a good spawn point for me, then hook it up, man. Stay there, you know. As long as you're close, it's somewhat close to the action, and, you know, that's how snipers should play in my books. If you're going to post up, post up somewhere around here where I can actually use you, you know. Not on the back side of the map. Or just running with a shotgun and just slaughter people like that dude was doing before. That's pretty sick too, but the whole back of the map shit, just don't do it please. I mean, share it to your game, you can play how the hell you want to play. But if you want to play that, you know, type of game, go to Conquest, man. It's not that detrimental to the team. Your, your main goal is to kill people, you know, and not die. So, you know, snipers on Conquest, uh, it's more feasible than Rush, you know, the ones that sit back anyway. But anyway, enough of my sniper rant. Now, this team's doing pretty pretty damn good so far. We've been able to push these MCOMs up. These guys have been giving us some uh, hell of a fight the way up. You know, they're not just sitting back. They're actually trying to do shit for the most part, but we're just uh, holding back too well. But they will get their revenge later on, as you will see. Now... We took both of these MCOMs, some pretty uh, good maneuvering. As you can see, I was running around this MCOM, or not M well, the MCOM's gone now, running around this building. I was basically trying to, you know, see if there's anyone in here while trying to cover the MCOM at the same time. You know, if while you're covering the MCOM, you don't want to die in the process of it. So, if you're in a building where, you know, people spawn around and regularly there, you want to watch your back. Right there, I ran out of ammo. I actually, was didn't even throw down the ammo box for a while, so my assault rifle was completely clean. <laughs> and the uh, burst isn't the best gun for long range, so I kind of screwed that one up. But yeah, this this base is a hard base to clear out because there's so many places, and nooks, and crannies and stuff for the, the uh, defending team to you know camp down at. It's hard for it to clear them out. Look at this shit. How I live for that. I mean, if that was me, I would have been cursing like you don't even know, dude. Like, what the? <laughs> that was uh, pretty crappy for him. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's hard to get them out. You can see they're swarming back here, man. I'm just killing dude after dude. And it's, there's just, they keep coming. They're still here. Like, look, it's not over yet. <laughs> What do I see in the distance here? Sniper. What's that? I hear some Americans. Oh, a Gustav holder. They're everywhere. This this base is hard to clear out. This is a good portion of your death is gonna be clearing this base out if the team the uh defending team is any good. So, you know, you gotta watch out for that. A lot of camp and a lot of you know, actually you know, good thing to do if your squad is coordinated. All these guys are in your base. Try to push up. If you know how to time it, like as soon as you take the base, I like counting to like 22, 23, and then just run in. And then you'll usually, I make it. Like you, you have like, it's like 30 seconds or something. And then the uh, timer goes off. So you count to 22, 23, you usually make it. You just gotta count, you know, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, and just head in. And that's probably your best bet of getting up in that base successfully and posting up and get something armed. So, uh, I'd, yeah, I'd actually try to flank, flank around and get the first, the one in the back first. That's probably your best option. But I see guys over moving over there, so I figure I'm going to go up this way. Now, how I like to do it is come up this hill here behind these, you know that uh those cement walls because it's a good cover usually no one down here so you can just scoot up here nice and easily and uh... make your way up this hill 
Now, you can see the team's working pretty good at moving our way up. We're not, you know, all staying back. Pretty much everyone's moving cautiously, but we're moving. Now, I catch all these guys up here. Usually this isn't so crowded like this, but there's like a whole squad and a half up here. Now, listen to this. Yeah, you die. God just missed me with that knife. He wanted it too. He kept going for it. <laughs> But I'm gonna make my way in here. I know there is like no one around me. But I'm just worried I'm gonna get killed in like a second, so I figured fuck it, I'm just gonna arm this thing. And I get killed in a second. Like certain places like this where you know there's people swarming around you. You just gotta arm it and cross your fingers. And then most of the time if you can get in and there's not many people around, you feel you can post up and wait for your team. It's the best option. But I didn't think I was gonna last too long in that one, so I just said screw it and arm armed it. Just praying for a fucking Clint Eastwood moment right there. But didn't get one. So now moving up to the side, this is a good way to flank around the back. You can see that uh there's no one back here at all. Sometimes you'll see people posted up here like snipers and stuff picking people in. There's like absolutely no one at all. Now, I try to hug these bushes, stay crouched, and move in slowly, because people do, you know, walk around here because they know that, you know, this is a common flank route. You just gotta keep it, you know, cautious as you move in here, because usually people post up in that little shed right here, right here, and try to kill people that come in, like you, so, <laughs> be easy. I see this helicopter. I see it trying to take off, take the pilot out inside. That's, you know, I'm moving just in case someone knew where I was. Guy takes the dude out, so I'm just like, fuck it now. Let's get out of here. And I arm this thing. And I try to take cover. I had success ducking around this thing before. Try to throw some smoke. Post up, shoot anyone who comes in. But I think that guy got a, uh, he heard my smoke nade, so probably knew around the vicinity where I was and killed me off. But my teammate backed me up and saved the MCOM, so we actually got that one. That was the part that I had to clip out to make this thing fit. It was a little tank run I had. Nothing spectacular. Now I'm up here. Holy crap, man. It's swarming with people. I don't know what to do. I'm just like, man, you know, a kid in a candy factory. Like, no, they're everywhere. <laughs> but uh, guy got me from the back. I didn't know there was a guy on the right, two on the left, guys below. I didn't know what to do in that situation. But we get in here. You arm this. I switch my freaking weapon. Look, I hate that shit. If I would have had my shotgun, I would have gotten right there. But you fucking press the arm button and you gotta worry about picking up whoever's weapon died around it. But anyway. As you can probably guess, we're going to lose this one. Look at the ticket. One ticket left. MCOM armed. Running in here. I try with everything in me. And we just lose. Right at the last minute. But I got to give them that. They held it down. They did their job. They kept us back. And they fucking owned us right at the beginning. So, props to them. It was a fun match. Got a decent kill-death ratio. As you can see, a lot of... Ta uh, medals and medallions and all that good stuff got a decent score and I had fun doing it team was just better so if you did like the video please rate and subscribe thanks for watching